Well, here it is. He won it. Yep. Trump winning the uh, New Hampshire primary and, of course, Biden winning in uh, based on write-ins because the Democratic Party decided to say, hey, even though New Hampshire is supposed to go first, we're just going to say, F it. Who cares? Uh, we're just going to push this thing to South Carolina. We'll, co- we'll count Sa- uh, South Carolina first. Uh, so, of course, uh, he was going to win just because he's the incumbent. Uh, but here's the deal, right? Trump winning by double digit numbers. Joe Biden's approval rating is so low, abysmally low. Okay, and now we're facing a a definite primary between or excuse me, in a general election between Joe Biden and Trump. But I've got to say, and this is not talking uh, crap about Trump. This is laughing at how much of a troll he is. I think some of the best trolls are uh, 50 Cent. Best troll. All you New York people. Takashi 69 I think, is another great troll. Say what you want about him. And Donald J. Trump. <laughs> This is a victory speech in New Hampshire tonight, and he even brings up uh, Vivek to uh, say some some things. We've got to listen to this because this is too funny. Buddy, oh, thank you for the victory. It's wonderful. It's what, or I can go up and say, who the hell was the imposter that went up on the stage before and like claimed a victory? She did very poorly, actually. She had to win. The governor said she's going to win. She's going to win. She's going to win. Then she. Let's talk about that for a second. What he's referencing is in the Iowa caucus that happened last week. Nikki Haley went up and made this victory speech as if she won when really Ron DeSantis was in second place. Now, don't get me wrong. She wasn't that far behind him. Uh, but, yeah, she went on stage and, and, and was like, I'm worried I won. <laughs> <laughs> she failed badly. Now, I have here, if he promises to do, to do it in a minute or less, but the only person more angry than, let's say me, but I don't get too angry, I get even. The only person... <laughs> you, see, people like this. People like the ability for you to be clever, for you to be kind of spicy, a little sassy, if you will. The only per- because he was there and he did fantastically well, by the way, and then he endorsed me. And we don't have to talk about Tim Scott, who, by the way, just got engaged. We have to tell you. You know, when I was first watching this video, I thought that was a dig. But then I realized, like, oh, he just endorsed him. <laughs> and that's more important than all of this stuff. But a man that got to know her very well is Vivek. I said Vivek. And I like Vivek a lot. And he really was just attacking her. The way somebody should attack a a politician like her. I said Vivek. At the uh, debates. Go up and say a few words about it. He has to do it in one minute or less. And then we're going to just say, we had one hell of a night tonight. And one other thing before Vivek comes. Do you see that, Paul? We're going to put it up. We have beaten Biden. You could almost say, who can't? Who the hell can't? The man. (laughs) Hold on. Hold on. He's not wrong, yo. He's not wrong. I mean, anybody could have beaten Biden at this point. You could put a monkey on the stage and the monkey's going to outperform Biden. He can't put two sentences together. He can't find the stairs off a stage. Who can't? But Vivek, one minute or less. Go do it, Vivek. What we saw tonight is America first defeating America last. That's what we saw tonight. If you want America last, you can go to Joe Biden. You got another candidate still apparently in the Republican primary. 
cut your social security to fork over more money to Ukraine so some kleptocrat can buy a bigger house, go to Nikki Haley. But you know who delivered a double-digit victory tonight? It yeah, is man. a double-digit victory as of right now. Is this man Donald J. Trump, the leader of America first? And that means something. Now, USA and Donald Trump, America first. Now, I got, I got 30 seconds left. I want to make this point here, okay? We got to say this. We got to say this right. What we see right now with her continuing in this race is the ugly underbelly of American politics, where the mega donors are trying to do one thing when we the people say another. And it's up to us to we the people to at long last say, hell no, we the people create a government that is accountable to us. And we the people have said tonight, we want again, as we did in Iowa, Donald J. Trump. And so you want to actually speak truth. That's the truth tonight. And the only thing they're rooting for is an ugly thing that we don't want to see happen. That's what these people are rooting for, is playing to say long enough so the Reed Hoffmans and the ugly Democratic George Soros Juniors who are funding the lawsuits against Trump can prop up their puppet. We say no to that vision. I say the general election begins tonight, and this man will win it in a landslide. God bless you, Donald J. Trump. Vote Trump USA. You know, say what you want, man, but that man is young, he's sharp, he's nailing it. And I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to see that for the, uh, the GOP. You know, say what you want, and, and, and if you are one of those who thinks that the GOP should start walking away from Trump, just like... There are people on the left who think that the Democratic Party, the DNC, should be walking away from a, a Joe Biden. Uh, the fact of the matter is there are young people who are willing to uh, take the stand and who are willing to further the Republican Party. And I think that's what we're seeing now, man. We're seeing a shift, a crazy shift. And, uh, and man, Vivek is just, he's so good. So there's uh, a little bit of... Uh, Trump's victory speech out in uh, New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, my God. The troll-in-chief.